talk about this new record, Minutes to Midnight. Really, really groovy title. Where does it come from? Um, well, it actually comes from a, a special I was watching on the History Channel, of all places. Um, it, it, it happened to be uh, about it, the Doomsday Clock, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know they kept saying like five minutes to midnight in whatever year, you know, and uh, it moves back and forth. And I just thought the idea of <clears throat> midnight being like the ultimate, like the end of all time, mm -hmm. or it could be like the end of, like with the band, like the end of one era and the beginning of something new. It, it just felt like it really fit. And uh, you can apply it to like all sorts of different scenarios outside of just the band. And so, um, you know, we were having a really hard time naming the record. We were actually like this close to just calling it Lincoln Park because we had basically nothing to work with. <laughs> there was a few that we kicked around, but like it was just if if two guys liked it, everybody else hated it. Right. You know, or there was there was like literally nothing that we could all agree on. So um, which is which is really weird for us. Yeah. <laughs> is, is it true you wrote of over a hundred songs and it was like what over a year? Yeah, our writing process is a little bit different I think than than what is normal and, and we do function a little bit more like a kind of like a studio project mm -hmm. almost like in a, in a sense like Rick compared it to like a like a hip-hop production we don't ever sit in a room and kind of jam to write songs early on we're all kind of passing around hard drives we're writing individually and in pairs and just getting ideas out so with that I mean seven hard drives in the band one being the community hard drive on those seven hard drives for this album there's I mean upwards of 150 songs so we we figured out ways to write other than that and for us it's natural but you bring in somebody else into that process who isn't familiar with with what we do like rick for this album and he's kind of looking at it going like this is exciting for him because he's never worked in this way but at the same time he's like it's really crazy how you yeah. guys write and he's like he's like we've got engineers here so like we don't really need you guys in here messing with the equipment and you know it, it's kind of funny but um I, you know, we gave Mike a production credit on the on the album this time right. around, and I say we gave it to him because he's always he's always basically acted as like the in-house producer of the band, and uh, and so it's al he's always been like the guy we go to his house, sit in front of his computer, mm -hmm. you know, mic up his room um, or the or the rehearsal space or whatever, and sit down and twiddle some knobs and push buttons and 